Welcome back everyone to Astian's Let's Play of Grandia on El Tarish YouTube channel where we last left off. We had entered Diet Village ahead of a storm, which uh, as you can probably hear now it's raining. And apparently that's a bad thing. So we've been enlisted to go to a place called Typhoon Tower where we'll be able to use an item called the Hero's Armband, I believe. To I only get in our inventory. But we're supposed to be able to use it to go and get a spear or some crap. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit confusing. I haven't played it for a little bit. I like I haven't continued the plot for a while. And all I've basically been doing is grinding. So as you can see. Justin and Fina are level 16, Sue is level 14, Gadwin's still 30. However, Justin now has 11 on fire and 14 wins. Um, his physical attacks haven't really increased that much. Sue now has 15 wind, which is her highest. Fina has 16 earth and 16 fire. Gadman has 16 earth, 7 fire, and his swords are 23 now. So I've been doing a bit of grinding uh, just for magic abilities. I wanted to grind up my support abilities so that they work a bit better. Which I successfully did. And I did that in the Valley of the Flying Dragon. I haven't been here yet. Wow, this rain's really coming down. Uh, they're just block molds, so I'll stay away them. Oh no, I did not want to do that. No! Don't walk in the green slime, guys, because obviously, as you can see, it damages you. Is that the right way? No, I don't want you to attack me. Instead of going north a little. Then northeast. Maybe it's this way. If these are plot molds, I'm going to take them all out. Uh, oh, mold bird. Okay, well, we'll watch this one. And then I'll take them all out off camera. So as you can see, V slash is now maxed. I've been trying to get his howl to a maximum level. One thing I have noticed is that there is a correlation between the actual skill level of your element or uh, physicality, so your sword or mace or whatever, and the actual number of stars for the ability. Um, oops, I was actually meant to be getting Sue's Winter Max, not just. It's a tornado! Oh well. But yeah, that was an interesting uh, observation that I made when I was doing some grinding previously. So that's worth noting if you guys were interested. Um, he's got his digging maxed. I'm trying to max his death loss now. Might just use Tremor. Actually, no, he can just attack. Because he doesn't have that much MP. You can just attack too, because he's probably all going to die anyway. Bye. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll off camera take care of all the enemies um, and then we will proceed. Uh, it's also worth noting too that interestingly enough, the enemies don't seem to come back if you leave the area and come back in. They only seem to respawn if you save and quit your game. So. Uh, we will test that theory because uh, once I clear this area out, we will go and get another mana egg and we will go back to town and use it before we proceed into actual Typhoon Tower. Anyway guys, I'll pause the video here, I'll take out the enemies and we will resume again shortly. Thanks guys. Alrighty guys, I think that's about all of the ones that I can take care of at this point uh, because if I proceed too far into this place, We'll end up in an event, so um, I don't want to miss that. Yeah, anyway, we'll go get this power mushroom. Don't even know what it does, but we'll get up with it. Oh, Fina also got some new abilities as well. I'll show you in a second. 
she got Refresh and Healer. So water went up. The water broke. Uh, keep going east behind the waterfall to find some money. Okay, perfect. Go back behind the waterfall and southwest to the entrance and then west across the mushrooms. And obviously we still don't want to step in the sludge. West and northwest to some money. Which I I saw. Yeah. So if you look at this. Oh, there's a big normal puddle. So I'm wondering, I guess the plot molds that were in Dragon Valley, Flying Valley of the Flying Dragon are derivatives of these mold birds, which I guess are caused by this rain and the moldy water there. Alright, so from here we head northeast. And go up here. Okay, and then go east and grab some money. Oh, there's some enemies. Sorry, guys, I thought I took most of them out. Just, uh, okay. Oops. Oh, well, we'll have to fight this one on camera. I'll try my best. Um, I really don't want to make you watch all the fights, so I won't, um... I won't spend so much time leveling up my abilities in these battles, because they'll just, they'll just take too long. If we just attack them and take them out as quickly as possible, that'll probably be the best. Pretty easy, right, Puppy? Uh. uh go east and grab some money. So we already did that. Go east to the dungeon scope icon. Or get ambushed. Isn't good, so I might just use a burn flame to take them all out at once. Burn out. So yeah, we'll test the theory as to whether or not when you leave the enemies Oh, it didn't take them all out. Uh, if you leave if the enemies respawn or if they don't. Because I've noticed that they haven't been respawning. Unless I save and turn the game off and then turn try it again. I actually never paid much attention to Gadwin in previous playthroughs that I've done of this game. But this time I actually like him. So that's interesting. So we'll go across this rock and maybe this is where we needed to go. Yeah, that's that's it. So we need this. Money egg. So now we'll uh, leave. Wow, this place is very jagged. Like quick jagger. Maybe anyone. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let's go back down and go back to town. I think I'm going to give this one to Justin. And then that means only... Uh, Fina and Justin will only need one more each. And then we've got all magic for everyone. I'm not saying that again. Shut up. Alright, so let's buy... Yeah, see, Gadwin has two crossed out because he can't have any more. We'll get Justin... Maybe we should get him water. Let's see what that gives him. I don't know that it gives him any extra abilities. It does, actually. It gives him an axe one. Wow. Alright, so obviously we're going to have to build that up. But we'll do that later. Anyway, now that we've done that, let's head back to Mount Typhoon. Get out of my way, bitch. Seriously. I'm trying to save the world here.
from this torrential rain. Alright. Go north into the... Oh, the enemies did come back. What I'll do is I'll try and get the event to happen and then I'll... Says go down the mushrooms to the west and west across some more mushrooms. So I guess it's down this one. To a dungeon scope icon. Oh, oh damn it. Oh well. Let's uh round whacker. I should have healed at the end. Whoops. And you can burn the flame. Here goes the boom! Oh, flame burn! Oh. Wow, she's pretty strong. She took two of them out on her own with one special attack. <laughs> pretty easy. If you were in Grandier and you, as a character, were to buy your first magic, what element would you buy? Personally, I'd probably get water or wind. Water because you could heal. And I don't know, I just like wind. Oops. Uh, north across the mushrooms to find some money. Where? Oh, get out of the water. Out of the water, oh my god. It said that there was some... Go away. Money somewhere around here. I think I'm lost, guys. Which is something I'm good at. Mm. A hard rain is falling. It seems the protection of the spirits has dwindled away. We should go back. Surely it's dangerous to go any further. It's okay, Fina. I'm here, aren't I? No, you don't understand. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. I don't want to keep going. I want to find this treasure that I'm missing. Ooh. Mushroom shield. Let's give that to Justin. It's like Super Mario Brothers. Do 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 do. Oh, plate resistance. Now, now I am missing some stuff. Where is it? Well, there's some money. Go back south across the mushrooms and southeast. South across the mushrooms. No. Is that it? Is that what I needed? Move mushroom. Uh, okay. And then it says if you go back southeast along here, you'll get some more money somewhere. Whoops. I want to get that. I'm just going to walk through that. Sorry. Where's this money? Maybe I've already picked it up. Anyway, guys, what I will do is I will clear the enemies off the screen before we proceed any further. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Awesome guys, we are back and I think I'm at the same point that we were at when we last stopped the video. I think I just faced in a different direction. But anyway, I found the money. I didn't pick it up, but it's over... Shit. It's over this way. And uh, of course we need to get Ninja to go and get it. Uh, unless we went around the wrong, the long way, which I really didn't feel like doing. So we just uh, took some damage so that we could... Uh, some of Justin's magic, and I actually believe, 
unless I got rid of them. Crap. I don't have any way to fix my magic, so we're going to have to be really careful. Anyway, let's continue. So that's all the items for that section. Huh? What's going on? My whole body is burning. Look out. The rain here is poison. In a moment, this rain will turn red. We have little time left. Hurry, Justin. Okay. So... Go north and northeast across the large mushrooms to a chest. This way. Yeah, there it is. And we will get a disease charm. This may be useful. Uh, it prevents disease, the disease status. Or gives a bit of a plague resistance. If we're going to use anything, we'll probably give it to Sue because she has the fire charm currently, but the enemies here don't really use fire. And that fire charm will come in useful later, so we won't get rid of it. So from here we go south to find some money. Uh, and then go back across the mushrooms and west. I'll take out these enemies off them. Ooh. What is that? Oh! These are new enemies. Clep. What are Kleps? Quack quack, they're birds. Oh, Godwin, are you serious? I wonder how they're able to survive out here in this poison room. What a finch! Stupid bird ran out of the tent at me. Oh, and Sue got a level up. Congrats. Okay, so we'll try and get away from this other enemy that's here. If we go west more, we'll come across a big river of sewage. Where? Oh, with money in the middle. Do we want that? Uh... Okay, so we can get it, but... We're probably going to end up getting into a battle, try and get it. Let's do this. So we go up here, fall off the mushrooms, go up the money. Run, 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 run. Alright. Let's heal. Fortunately, he doesn't have any level 1 magic left. Okay, so go back south and west and cross the mushroom bridge that we'd fallen off before. This one. Go directly north northeast and up a hill. No, no. Oh, damn it. They ambushed me. I don't like these enemies. They don't really do much damage, anyway. Come on, Pino, you can do it. I'll take these guys out. I think I like this format better if I take the enemies out off the map mostly. Um, that way I don't have to cut battles because there's not very many left. Uh, these enemies tend to drop vaccines, and I think it's because they have a special move that gives the plague status. Uh, which we haven't experienced yet, and I probably don't want to experience. And Fina got a level up, so that's great. Okay, so now we need to head northeast. This way. Stay away from me. Way. Which is this 
story of my life, and I'm about to get into a battle control way. We'll uh, just see if we can find this. Whatever it is that we're supposed to be looking for. I'm going to go back this way, because I think we've gone past it. might be down here. No. Okay, well that was the mushroom bridge. It says go directly north northeast up a long hill to a demon sword at the moment. Oh here it is, this is the hill. Maybe? No. Uh Um, okay. Anyway, guys, I will uh, stop the camera here because my timer just went off. So this is Aston and Altaris. Your channel will take you on a let's play of Grandia when we return. We'll continue trying to look for this amulet. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.